The reenactment battle we are depicting today is the Battle of Bloody Gulch, which took place approximately one mile southwest of Carentan in Normandy, France, on June 13, 1944, between elements of the German SS Panzer Grenadier Division and 6 Fallschirmjager Regiment and the famed American 101st Airborne Division, reinforced by elements of the American 2nd Armored Division. I enlisted in the Marines uh, a year and a half later. I couldn't wait. I tried to do so earlier, but my father wouldn't sign the papers. But at 17, I joined up. The Japanese were very tough, and it never ceased to be until the battle was over. Fortunately, the Marines always won. And they announced it in our study hall that the United States had been attacked at Pearl Harbor. It turned 18 and three of us went down. So we decided to join the Marine Corps. Their motto at the time was, first to fight. And that turned out to be true. And it was 20 below zero. There was at least two feet of snow and where there was drifts, it was four. We didn't have the big overcoats you see in the television. We, you couldn't have been warm anyhow. I think we lost 4,528 First Division boys during the Battle of the Bulge, which included the Hurricane Force, the Ardennes, the whole battle itself. So, that, But that lasted five or six weeks. I jumped in D-Day at about 2.30 in the morning. Anytime that you're uh, behind the enemy lines, you know where their equipment is, you know where their strength is, you know where they are. So this is one reason why I was so happy at both my parachute drops to be behind the German lines when I landed. In Normandy, at Utah Beach, and in Holland when I jumped there. The people today don't realize that women flew in World War II. We were stationed at 150 different bases. We flew every aircraft manufactured for World War II from the smallest to the largest, including B-29. We dispelled the theory, the, the theory that women can't fly and that women can't fly heavy aircraft. We proved otherwise. And Off we go into the wild blue yonder, climbing high into the sky. They gave us the title, 101st Airborne Division. We were outnumbered four to one at Bastol. There, we defeated the enemy. The enemy had a lot more ammo than we did. We got some veterans in the back there. Thank you so much for your service, gentlemen.